Hello and welcome to episode 8 of The Pilgrim Way, a Football Manager 2022 series here on Boston United FM. We have taken over as the new manager of Boston United in Conference North, but we're using a management model more common across Europe than in the depths of English football, where our director of football controls our transfers and contracts. Professor Jonathan Van Tam is our technical director, providing his medical expertise. We scraped a draw away at local rivals Kings Lynn Town in episode 7 and our inconsistent form has continued until recently. We lost out away at Tranmere Rovers in the FA Cup second round but only after extra time. Our FA Trophy run ended in the fourth round, losing away disappointingly at Conference Northside FC Halifax Town. We're actually now on a run of five league wins from the last six games, having beaten Yeovil Town, Gloucester City and Dagenham and Redbridge most recently. Today, we face Boreham Wood. The recent run of good form has risen us up to 13th in the table and we're now 10 points clear of the relegation zone. We're actually closer to the playoff places. However, our aim is just to finish up as high as possible and avoid relegation. We've not made any signings since the last episode. However, midfielder Shane Byrne has agreed to join Derry City on a free in the summer after our director of football could not meet his wage demands. We are missing Ipswich Town low knee defender Elkin Baggett through suspension, so we have Duxbury, Wright, Lee and Moss at the back, in front of goalkeeper Ashby Hammond. Byrne plays in midfield alongside Dugmore, who has recently agreed a new contract to stay, having previously joined on a non-contract basis and was attracting interest from other clubs. Lowe comes in for the injured Wright Phillips on the right, with Preston on the opposite wing. Up front, we have low knees Brown and Street. We got the match underway. As we look to consolidate our position ahead of the relegation zone and just stay up. Preston on the left-hand side. He put a cross in to Street and he hits the woodwork. We come forward yet again. Shane Byrne in the midfield, soon to be departing. We're passing the ball around nicely. Through ball for Brown. He scores. But unfortunately, it's disallowed for offside. Definitely the right decision there. Boreham Wood finally seeming to get their act together. They come forward down the right-hand side. Now down the middle. Shot from inside the area. And Fonku puts them 1-0 up. Some neat build-up play as they got towards our box. Two-touch passing. Nice tackle from Duxbury. It's a little bit unlucky. The ball ends up at Fonku's feet. And he puts the ball past Ashby Hammond. We then get a free kick. Goes to the far post. And Lee, he really should have scored there. Point-blank header. And that was the last chance of the first half. We go in at half-time. 1-0 down. We were definitely the better side in that first half. And that's what we've got to tell the players. We're very unlucky to be 1-0 down. Hopefully, things will get better in the second half. Deep cross to the far post. And we get our deserved equaliser through Fraser Preston. Dugmore gets the ball in midfield. To Burn. Out to Moss on this right-hand side. A deep cross to the far post. And there's Preston on the volley. And he sticks it in the net. That's one all. We come forward yet again. There's Brown. Saved by the goalkeeper. Long throw into the box. Headed against the bar. There's Preston on the ball. Into street. To burn in the midfield. But that was the last action. We come away with a one all draw away at Boreham Wood. I can't really complain. The lads did what I asked of them at half time. We got back into the match in the second half. We created a lot of chances, but just couldn't quite get that second goal to win the game. We stay in 13th place and gained another point on those in the drop zone. It's very tight right at the bottom as four points separate the teams from 17th down to 24th. 
just 11 matches to go in the National League season with us comfortably now in mid-table. I think we'll just shoot forward to the last day game at home to Kings Lynn for episode 9. It could be crucial for them and we may get the opportunity to send them down to Conference North. If you've enjoyed the content of this video, please don't forget to leave a like. And for more videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.